Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We've got the usual suspects here. I'm Mark, Steve. We're talking about, of course, Fonica Pro 10.4, specifically 360 video editing. And uh, what are you going to do? I don't know what you're doing. Text in a sphere. Text in a sphere. Text in a so sphere. text within a 360 video. Exactly. Um, what unless, do you need to do? Yeah, unless your viewers personally know the people that are inside the 360 world. Ah, so you want to identify somebody on screen. Yeah. So it's kind of like the, the 360 version of lower thirds. Yes, but it's still a lower third. Okay, well, let's see okay. how it goes. Okay, so here I have some clips that I shot over the summer. Uh, one with the Aura camera, and there I am in the kayak. And it, yeah, we shot with a bunch of them. We, I wanted to test the resolutions and everything. One really popular camera, you, you see this at, uh, at Best Buy, it's called the 360 Fly. It's really not a 360 it's camera. It's a ball, It's right? a ball, it's uh -huh. a 240 camera, so it's missing the bottom. Oh, the whole bottom's, the whole missing, bottom's yeah. missing, right? But who cares? I mean, yeah, most for, of the time you're not looking down. You're looking down, right? Do you, how often do you look at your feet, really? Uh -huh. Okay, so anyway, side, side point there. So bottom line is um, I want to bring in some text to introduce myself here. And then also Travis is out there. Way right? in the way distance. Way in the distance. Yeah. So I need some lower thirds. So okay. well, I'm going to go ahead and park my playhead over this clip. Press X to mark the range. And then I'm going to hit uh, Control Shift T. And of course, Control Shift T. Keyboard shortcut for the default lower third. Lower third. Uh -huh. Now you'll notice here in the equa rectangular view, I have the the text. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to just go ahead and do, do some editing here. I'll type in Steve Martin, and then we'll Steve Martin. Yes, and then click the little arrow to the you know, say something really obvious. Kayaker. Oh, kayak. Because right. you are now a professional uh, kayaker. Yeah, professional kayaker. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the inspector and uh, make a, uh, a quick change to the text. Go down to the face controls. And I like, create, create some contrast. I'm going to make a there kind of go. a lime green color. Well, kind of match the kayak. Kind of match the kayak. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, 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 you're, you're an art director, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite here. But the um, <laughs> point is, is like, I, I'm good, but it's in the wrong place. If you look yeah. in the, the, the bottom, it's like it's in the... In the graphic nadir void area, we don't want it there. It's funny because the void in the equi rectangular view actually kind of looks like a background for a lower it third. It does, in a way. <laughs> right? So, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to move this kind of in the position where I want them. And I know because we have two separate uh, text objects, I got to kind of do both. So um, you're starting out by positioning them in the equi rectangular view. Right. It's okay. the easiest way to at least get them get kind started. of where you want them. Uh -huh. uh, as a well. Yeah, this is what I recommend. Get get them positioned roughly where they're going to be in the okay. sphere. Okay, and this is not a 360 native object. Uh -huh. And if it was, we'd have the little 360 badge on the text. Right. Final Cut Pro 10 considers this a 2D object in a 3D world. Okay. So the 2D object could be graphics, text, you know, photos, what have you. But in order to get them playing friendly in the sphere, you, yes. have to, you have to go over to the inspector and, the, and turn on this checkbox. So uh, right now they're kind of distorted. They are distorted. To the sphere, okay. They're, yeah, but now when you check these 360 transform, by checking yes. this, I'm now putting ah. it in a sphere. And by the way, you can't use any of the on-screen controls when this is on, it even tells you that. Um, yes. You have to turn it off. But now, with it in the sphere, now I put it kind of in, in a, a spherical dimension, I can now work with it um, for example, I can change the distance. I can move it closer. I can use the latitude and longitude controls to kind of place it. So I can uh, I can move it lati latitudinally. Yeah. I can Up move it, uh, I can move it longitudinally. Left or right? That's, yeah, left or right. <laughs> <laughs> East or west, yeah. north or south. And it's right? kind of moving around. It's going to move. Yes, yes. It's there. exactly. Uh -huh. it's but moving. it's nice and flat. It's not curved the way it was before. No, it's not being distorted. It's not being distorted. Yeah. So nice. And it, and it looks pretty good. I'm, it looks great. I, I'm happy with that. Um, but there's some additional controls. X, Y, Z rotation. I may want to go in here and I'll just show you what these do. See, I'm now I'm kind of bringing. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm rotating on its X position. Tilting on the X Tilt. axis. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I so this is here's some Y, I can kind of get like that, and it's Z, I can just kind of straighten it up with the horizon. So it gives you a way to correct the text relative sure. to the viewer. Okay. So now, you know, I'm, I'm looking around, I can play this back, and uh, you know, I can, I've got, I've got text there. There you are, nice. So it's, it's nice, I'll, I can move it wherever, but I, you, get the, you get the general idea. Yes. You can just move it where yes. you want. Now, what I want to do is, uh, Travis needs his own lower third. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's so far away. He's far. Yeah, well, let's just see what we, we can do because you know you, you, the viewer is going to have a 360 headset on, presumably. Yeah. And they're going to swing around. Like, gonna look who's over that? There. Who's that over who's there? Who's that? Yeah. yeah, you didn't identify them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, just hold down the option key and I'm going to drag this 
up. So I've made a copy. copy. Uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and disable the bottom just so I'm, I'm not confused about yeah. what layer I'm working on. The other thing I want to do before anything is I want to reset the uh, transform because remember I copied. Yeah, you moved, and, uh, all I moved everything. So, you need to so reset all of those transform. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm yes because mm -hmm. I'm I'm starting with a clean slate for that yes. second text. Yes. So now, what I want to do is um, just go in here and start editing these. So I want to go back and turn off. Remember the on-screen controls? You got to turn those yes. off in order to edit. Yes. That's a big part. So I'm going to type in Travis Rich. Spin his name right, and then click the next, the bottom one. And he's also a kayaker, so yeah. why? But you know, I make I make make one change in that. It's I don't you know it's green. His, his red. His kayak's red. So yeah. let's let's make there you go. red text. Okay, so nice. so there we got a different okay. look for that lower third. Okay, so next I want to go back to the inspector. Okay. And now you go oh, to oh wait, oh yeah, in the oh yeah, 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 first, yeah. Right? You're right. Yeah, you got, you got it. So I remembered. I, you did. So I'm going to move this. I really want to try to get it in close position first before I start yeah. putting it in the 360. So it's spin. available once you go over to that look around view. It'll be in the neighborhood. It'll be in the neighborhood. That's why I say position the text, then turn on the 360 uh -huh. transforms, and now. Um, and now when I move this around, now all I need to do is work with the latitude and the longitude. So now I can uh, actually move the latitudinally. Let's move him, move him over here. And move this down here, and uh, you, you, and then I can use some of these other controls like the X and rotate Y, a little bit. rotate a little bit, and try to get try to get it where I want it. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe I want it with level of the horizon. Point is, you can use the controls and position it where you yeah. want. So the idea is the viewer. Uh, they're looking, let me go ahead and turn back on my lower third. So they're looking here. In fact, you, you can, yeah, they can see. In fact, let's do something fun here. Let's option G and let's put titles. I can put it in both in a compound clip, select the title and hit uh, uh, command T. Now, now what I've done is I put them in there and they both fade they up. They animate on. They okay. animate on. Nice. So when I, when I flip these around, so when I'm looking yeah. at this and I move around, these will both literally animate on at the same time. Nice. Yeah, and of course, um, remember the, the... Well, your boat's moving. The boat's moving, crazy, right, exactly. Right. The text will stay fixed to an object if that object isn't moving <laughs> the object and the isn't... camera's stationary. But your camera's moving, your objects are moving, uh, yeah, it's... et cetera. But they're floating in the, in the vicinity. In the vicinity. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, but I just really wanted to go through kind of the general workflow of how right. you approach 3D text. You, you, you get it positioned in the, right. in the frame, in the equirectangular frame, then you turn on transforms, then you move it, Great. then you... So that's way to do pretty it. easy if you know a few little steps to be able to put any regular 2D text into a 360 video. Yep. Nice. Yep. Hope you guys like that. Steve's got a detailed 360 video editing in Final Cut Pro 10.4 tutorial on RippleTraining.com, which you've got to check out if you're going to be doing this. And you're going to be asked to do it. Even though you're not going to specialize in 360 video, maybe, everybody needs to have this stuff in their toolkit because yep. clients are going to ask for it and it's good to understand the process. And Steve goes everything from production and post so you really get an understanding of all the issues and everything you need to think about. Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next time.